So the question is whether urea, also called carbamide, is ionic or covalent. Here we have the formula COnH2. The short answer is that urea is a covalent compound. It's made up of covalent bonds. Let's look at the periodic table here. Urea, we have carbon. Carbon, that is a nonmetal. We have oxygen right here. That's a nonmetal. We have nitrogen. That's a nonmetal. And then we have hydrogen over here, which is a nonmetal. So we have all nonmetals. So this is going to be a covalent compound, also called a molecular compound. That means that electrons will be shared between atoms to form the chemical bonds. Let's take a look at the structure of urea just for a moment. So we have our structure here, and here's a molecular model. The blue, those are the nitrogens, carbon's black, oxygen's red, and the white, those are the hydrogens. So we have in the center here, this is the carbon here. It's double bonded to the oxygen, and then it's bonded to the nitrogen here on each one of these amide groups. So this is urea. It's a covalent or molecular compound. The electrons between the atoms, they're shared. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.